We are back with another adventure and something crazy might be coming to Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go dropped a hype video highlighting this Sinnoh tour and the brand new adventure effects coming to the game. They obviously showed off Origin Form Dialga, Origin Form Palkia. They showed what all of that's going to look like in the game and it's very exciting. Now, in the beginning of this video, and shout out to C Millen on Twitter for pointing this out, they show off an elite raid going down in the city of Los Angeles. Now, there have not been any elite raids slated for that weekend in Los Angeles during the Sinnoh tour nor any elite raids for the Sinnoh tour global but this is a skyline view of Los Angeles with an elite raid back there in the back and that raises a lot of questions elite raids have been removed from Pokemon Go for about a year now but they just announced that elite raids are coming back on Valentine's Day with Enamorous making its Pokemon Go debut we'll talk more about that later but that's going down globally on February 14th the Sinnoh tour is on the 17th and 18th and the global one is the following weekend so why are they showing elite raids in Los Angeles in this Sinnoh tour hype video. I don't know about you guys, this might sound crazy, but my immediate thought was Arceus. Now listen, Arceus is the god of all Pokemon. It is the creator. It is the Pokemon, especially for Generation 4. A Pokemon of that caliber deserves an incredible debut, and what's more awesome than debuting at the Generation 4 Sinnoh tour event in Los Angeles in Elite Raids? That would be insane. I promise you that's not much of a reach. That's not that crazy of an idea. Let me tell you why. At these Pokemon Go tour live events, every Pokemon from that generation gets released. At the moment, there are three Pokemon in Generation 4 that are not in the game yet. Those Pokemon are Arceus, Manaphy, and Fionn. All very special Pokemon that deserve to be released in a pretty cool way. At this moment, they have not revealed if any of those Pokemon are going to be available, but everyone's hoping that they are. Nobody really knows how or when exactly, but this gives us a pretty good idea. I could see them doing special Elite Raids at the end of each Sinnoh Tour play day where Arceus is available. It would be the perfect event to debut Arceus and then of course they would make it globally available maybe in the Global Cine Tour or an event later in the year. Remember these Go Tour live events are special events. They love doing something fun and crazy with it and we of course know that the origin form of Dialga and Palkia are going to be released at the Cine Tour which is super exciting. That's awesome in and of itself but what's cool about the origin form of Palkia and Dialga is that they have a heavy heavy influence of Arceus in their design. If you do a side-by-side -side comparison of the origin form of Dialga and Palkia and Arceus Arceus, you can see that they get a lot of their traits physically, of course, from Arceus. So I don't know, man. It feels like it ties in really, really well. Arceus could be coming to Pokemon Go in just a matter of weeks now. I don't think this is too far-fetched of an idea. They love doing crazy stuff for these events. They love dropping surprises. And I don't know why they would show an elite raid in the Sinnoh Tour Los Angeles hype video. The dates do not align. This doesn't make any sense. A lot of people in the community are thinking the same thing. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? Is Arceus going to be available at the Global Sino Tour Los Angeles. I guess we'll have to find out. Of course, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because I will be at the Sino Tour Los Angeles. It's gonna be exciting as all heck. And if that ends up going down, you heard it here first and you're gonna see it here first. I can't wait for that, but a quick break on the news. We do have to move on with our Taken Treasures time research. I accidentally just claimed those two tasks right there. I'm pretty sure we got some max revives and some other good stuff, but let's get this done because this event ends tonight. Here's a 939 wheezing right here. That's a very interesting encounter. I guess I'll take it. I have no choice let's go ahead and claim the rest of this here 3000 dust a daily incense sorry a daily incense a regular incense and some xp and for stage four i have eight hours to defeat 10 grunts purify 10 shadows and transfer 30 i can do the purifications i can do the transfers but defeating 10 grunts that was just what that, that was in the last stage they're really pushing this team rocket stuff i think you had to defeat like 30 or 40 of them in this entire time research but i don't want to miss out on those rewards i don't want to miss out on that exclusive pose so i gotta get this done but back to some exciting things so after i recorded our last adventure which if you guys haven't seen it check it out it was a pretty awesome one i ran into a brand new shiny for the first time ever check it out hey look at this a shiny joltik man this is a really rare shiny i have never seen one of these my first one ever let's go beautiful shiny joltik right there i think this released at go fest in japan if i remember correctly or maybe new york i'm not too sure but down it goes shiny joltik and pokemon go how about that, dude? Brand new shiny Joltik. Let me know in the comments if you guys got this bad boy right here. I 
mentioned it in that clip. I don't know when it debuted. I think it was New York Go Fest or maybe Japan Go Fest. I wasn't able to snag it then, but I snagged it now. Shiny Joltik of Pokemon Go. Ivy, check. It is a one star. So definitely not going to be a great one, but an awesome catch. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know what the heck I'm waiting for. I don't know the next time I'm going to get this. We're going to evolve this bad boy into Shiny Galvantula in Pokemon Go because why the heck not? Shiny Galvantula looks like, ooh, ooh my gosh. That's so sick, dude. Black and yellow or like a black and navy blue. That is an incredible shiny. Wow, I honestly thought it was gonna be underwhelming. That is not underwhelming. Love the black and gold. What is that, black Black and brown and gold? This is sick. Shiny Galvantula and Pokemon Go, very nice. Now I gotta get myself another shiny Joltik, but I will take that. Very useful Pokemon. It is gonna be out of the Great League, but doesn't really have the best IVs anyways. Quick comparison of what it looks like. Here's the regular form of Galvantula, and there is the shiny. I definitely like the shiny a lot more. That is a great catch, a great evolution. Luckily, I got it. I don't know how, but I'm happy I did. Now, speaking of Elite Raids, then I know I mentioned this earlier, Enamorous is debuting in Pokemon Go in Elite Raids. The incarnate form to be exact. I know some people had questions about it, but Enamorous comes back to Pokemon Go only on February 14th at 12 p.m., 1 p.m., 5 p.m., and 6 p.m. So it'll be available for a total of four hours on Valentine's Day. I know that's kind of an unfortunate day to drop it. A lot of people are complaining about that, which I understand, but don't worry. This is just the way that this Pokemon is debuting. I'm sure it's going to come back and be way more available, hopefully. And again, it's coming back in Elite Raids, which we have not seen a Pokemon go in about a year. The last time we had them, they were super buggy. I couldn't jump in the lobby. There were no rare spawns. It was a mess. But they're back, and hopefully they're better than ever. So we have some spawns for completing Elite Raids. For 30 minutes after the raid, you will get the following spawns. Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Snubble, Taillow, Woobat, Emolga, Rufflet, Fletchling, Spritzy, and Swirlix. That's all right. It's some cool shiny Elzbo Pokemon. Nothing too crazy. No word on Legendary Pokemon. Pokemon spawning at all. I don't know if this is just some Pokemon you can see, if there's still going to be rare spawns. We'll have to find out on Valentine's Day. It'll be a real bummer if there's no rare spawns after Elite Raids. That was like kind of one of the only cool things about it, so hopefully that's a thing. And then it explains what Elite Raids are. For those of you guys that don't know, Elite Raids are just regular Legendary Raids, really. It's just a really cool way to exclusively drop Pokemon, per se. But you got to remember this, Elite Raids are in person only and you cannot invite people. I understand the concept. I don't agree with it. I think that they should still be able to invite like one or two people or you can only invite people if you're at the raid. Like it shouldn't be remotable but you should be able to accept invites and you should be able to send invites if you're actually there. I think that would kind of mesh the two worlds together because I know for a lot of people out there you guys just don't get a chance to do elite raids and you guys don't care for them for that exact reason. So hopefully one day they can find some middle ground. I think my suggestion is the middle ground. You know what I mean? We'll have to see the community feedback from this elite raid day but again it's going down on a wednesday and on valentine's day so luckily there's a couple different hours you can do it but still it's not the most doable thing out there uh for those of you guys that want to go enjoy your valentine's day or your wednesday or your work day or your school day or whatever go have fun don't get pressured and think you have to do this again it's going to come back at some point hopefully the next month or something like that now that elite raids are hopefully officially back they wanted it to have a special debut i think that's fair it lines up with the lore of enamorous I'm cool with it. But hey, some exciting things happening in Pokemon Go. I feel like I've been saying that every gosh darn video, and honestly, I think it's true. There's just a lot of good stuff happening right now. Plus, your boy got a really, really rare shiny, which was awesome. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Is Arceus going to be debuting at the Sinnoh Tour? Yes or no? Am I reaching? Is it just like a hype for February in general? I feel like that was a hype video just for the Sinnoh Tour Los Angeles. I mean, they literally showed the city of Los Angeles. I don't know. We'll have to wait. We're just about two weeks away. It's going to be incredible. Incredible, man. Oh, I cannot wait.